I believe God. I have faith in God. Because the Bible speaks that doubt is your enemy. Faith is your friend. But it can't be your friend unless you obey the word. Reading this morning from Hebrew 11, I believe, uh, 11 and 1, and um, I think it was through the third verse. third verse. We'll read on down through the fourth verse. Um, the thought this morning is faith reward is God's approval. Mm. I don't care how much you faith you have. Everything that we receive spiritually, it has to be approved by God. It must be. It's in the Word, you can believe it. But it must be approved by God. And sometimes we can have faith, and we got to understand how faith works. And God cannot approve it because you need to repent for some things. Even though you save, you're shouting, you're praying, you're preaching, you're doing all of these things. But faith reward is God's approval. So we have to check ourselves at all times, our thoughts and how we live and what we do and what we think about other folks. See, God is a holy God, and he's perfect in all his ways. And when you really get into the reality of the spirituality of God, you got to be like God, holy. Holy. You can't come to church and shout and say, I got faith. And I teach on faith at least once a month, and sometime often, and sometime on Bible study night. So I think that I ask God always to give me a revelation concerning what I'm going to teach about. And God was telling me that He approved everything that we get. Though sometimes we don't really believe like we should believe. God have mercy. You know what he said in one of the scriptures? I could not do many works because of your unbelief. He had mercy on a few senior citizens, a few sick folks. But there are many things that God cannot do because we said we believe, but we don't act like we believe. And if you really want to make a New Year's resolution or a vow, because some folks say, well, we, ain't, we don't use that word in church. I do, because it means the same thing. Uh, we need to check ourselves. Every once in a while, you know, we need to tune up. Yes, sir. Every once in a while, your car need a tune-up. It's not running right. And every once in a while, we need a tune-up because we're not acting right. A tune-up is do it to me, God, like you did it the first time. So a new car, you have to, you know, tune it up because it don't run like it did when it's new. You know, when we first got saved, we wouldn't step on anything. Wouldn't talk about nothing. Bad, wouldn't say nothing bad, wouldn't miss church. Wouldn't, we did everything we were supposed to do, but as we grew up, instead of getting better, we got worse. <laughs> we used to come to church, pray, wouldn't miss a prayer meeting, and as we grew up, we got slack. Somebody just here, Done that. I almost got slack. The devil would cause you to get slack. But Jesus coming back after church without a rancor, 
You know how every, all the ministers up here got suits on. They don't have a wrinkle in them. Now, God don't like a wrinkle in our life because they don't like to wear wrinkles in their suits. Or uh, any such thing. Any such thing. All right, let's, 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 let's read. That's just a... Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now, 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 present tense, now, 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 not tomorrow when you pray. Faith is the substance. Hope without faith is just hope. All right, read on. The evidence of things not seen. Uh huh. For by it the elders obtained a good report. You can't even have a good report if you don't have faith. We can't have a good report, not with God. If you don't have faith. Because, matter of fact, according to the Bible, and that's in the same chapter, verse 11, it's impossible. I don't care what you do. You can give, you can build, you can sing, you can preach, but it's impossible for you to please God. He's he not pleased with your singing. With my preaching, with my teaching, with my giving, without faith. And many people do that and don't have faith, but they're not pleasing God. You're not pleasing God. Because God, the reward of faith, is God's approval. And he can't approve. Have you ever been to a bank or a company or something you fill out an application, and they say, okay, this got to go before the manager for approval. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, you done filled it out, left it with the secretary, secretary and uh, it's in 30 days, come back, and we'll see what the committee said. See whether they approve it or not. You, you, say, you put in for a loan. $5,000. Well, they're just not going to just give you a loan right. Right. for $5,000. You ain't paid nobody. You don't have a job. You're not doing anything, but you want a loan for $5,000. But you don't went in there and lie and say, well, I work over here, and I don't work over there, and I done done this, and done that. And Well, we'll let you know in 30 days because it has to be approved. When you pray to God, don't you know that God know you and me? And you can say, oh, I believe the Lord. That's easy to say. Ain't nothing but a word. <laughs> I believe God. I have faith in God. Because the Bible speaks that doubt is your enemy. Uh -huh. Doubt is your enemy. Faith is your friend. Amen. But it can't be your friend unless you obey the word. Because faith don't do anything against what God has promised. Faith does it. It don't heal you, and God promised to heal you. But faith can't do it. The doctor might can help you, but faith cannot give you that miracle that you need. Because God cannot approve it unless faith tells you can have it. And doubt sometimes will tell you, you know we have, we have mind problems. Some people would get really blessed if they could get their mind straight. Because the mind tells you you're not worthy. You can't have it. It's too much. You don't know how to receive it. 
Your mind tell you all these things. You have a problem with your mind. The devil like to control our mind. He like to tell you, he like to make you talk things, say things you shouldn't say. He like to fill your mind with lust, with pride. So how are you going to be blessed? God can't approve nothing for you. Unless you have patience, God can't approve anything for you. Unless you obey God, he can't approve it. Just like you can't go to the bank and get a loan from the bank unless you're straight. Your credit has to be good. You know, when I got my car, there was a gentleman there, and the man came back and said, it ain't but two people in here have perfect credit. We have one more in me. My wife is a witness. Honest is a witness. Right, Honest? So you got perfect credit. I pay my bills. I don't ask for next week. I pay my bills before. As soon as I get the money, I pay bills sometime a month before time. So you got to be straight. When I say straight, I'm talking about straight. You know, like a straight pen. <laughs> Ain't nothing straighter than a straight pen, but a saint got to be straighter than a straight pen. Right? This ain't nothing to play with. It's either holiness or hell. So faith, okay, let me tell you about faith. Faith takes the answer now. That's what the Bible is talking about. Faith takes the answer now. You be, when you pray, you have faith in God. God, it takes the answer. Right now. It's not tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. But then faith talks to patience. And patience said, wait. On the Lord. And while they waiting, God approve it. Everything, everything must be approved by God and it's in the word. When the Bible said, wait on the Lord and he shall renew, what? Well, why are you waiting? You're waiting for him to approve it because you don't have it. Reality have not become a reality. They all works together. They all works together. So now faith is. Faith is always in the now. It's never tomorrow. It's never after you did. Faith going to bless you, but God must approve it. All right, let's read a little bit further. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by okay, the word of God. Okay, through faith, we understand that the world was framed by God. Maybe you go, to Revel, you go to Genesis and you'll find out in the beginning, God. Amen. Ten times said, let there be, let there be, and everything God said, it, it was. And God looked at it and said, oh, it's good and very good. Well, when God look at us, he want to say, oh, she or he good Amen. and very good. Right. See, that's how it works. God ain't going to be approved nothing for no mean person, no hypocrite. He have mercy on you. Somebody said, well, how you know that? Because he said, I'm long suffering, not willing to show that, that, that you should perish, but come into repentance, right? Don't think that because you're smart that you're wise. Don't think because you're smart you're wise. Don't think because you're wise you got wisdom. 
All right, let's, let's, let's read. Let's read. So that things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. Uh-huh. By things which are seen. You know, you, you, you can't uh, accept blessings from God on your physical eye. On your natural eye. On what you see, your, your eye, you know you got your eyesight is twenty twenty. Your vision is twenty twenty. You don't see what God see. God can peep through mud and water and spy dry land. You can't do it. Everything that's made, and, and we we should be so illuminated, so close to God. Tell. And somebody said, well, what, what are you talking about? The Holy Ghost in us is God. Yes. Power. The word in us is God. Yes. So that means if we got, if, if the word is directing our step, the Holy Ghost is giving us power to overcome, to overcome, yes. then we're like God. But we got to always live like God. We have to always think like God. The Bible said, let this mind, am I telling the truth? Yes. Being you that was also in Christ. So you, have, you need the mind of Christ, and then you act like Christ, you won't be crazy. You won't be crazy about this, about that. You'll be honest in everything as much as possible. And if you make a mistake, you say, Lord, please forgive me. Yes. See, you don't worry about what's going on in the world, what's going on around you. So faith takes the answer now. Now, okay, what did it say? Faith is what we hope for, right? Now, read on, read faith on. Faith is the substance of things hopeful. Hopeful. You know what? Hope said you'll get it after a while. Faith can never, hope can never take nothing now. Faith takes it now. I get out and say, oh God, oh God, oh God, bless me with a car. Bless me with a car. For he said, I shall supply all your needs. If I need a car, I have it now. But patience said, got to wait. Till God approve it. Till God approve it. And when we get in line and understand how faith works, how God works, we don't have no problem. Because we know after you have done the will of God, we have need of patience. Because done while we waiting, God is approving everything, and He getting you straight so you can receive it. Cause maybe you need to repent. Maybe you need to go to that sister, and brothers, say, "Oh, forgive me." Amen. Maybe the husband need to go to the wife and say, "I haven't paid the rent. Forgive me." Maybe the daughter needs to go to the father and say, I, I have obeyed my mother and my father. Forgive me. God is not slack concerning his promises, saints. So I want God to approve what he had promised me. Just because it's in the Bible. But your life can separate you from God receiving blessings. Just little things. The little, the little, what, what is said by the little fox? The little fox. It's little, you think you haven't done nothing. You've been joking. You've been talking about folks on the phone with somebody. That's a little fox. It depends on what you're talking about. That's a little fox. Don't let that big fox get a hold to you. It become a bear. All right, okay. 
I'm almost finished now. I haven't said nothing, have I? Go ahead. Read on, read on. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence. Faith. Faith. All right, read on. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. You, you retain a good report. Not that the devil, a good report. You can go through all kind of hell uh, and, and have a good report because you're suffering for Christ. <laughs> you don't never give up on him. All right, read, read. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. By the word of God. By the word of God, he didn't have to sign no contract. He didn't have no hammer and nails. He spoke the word. He spoke the word. Because the Bible said in John, he was the word. And there's no other word. All right, read on, read on. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You have to... Mm, our blessing doesn't come by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Other words, by the way we feel. The way we feel. Well, you be praying for something and the devil get in your mind and have you feeling like you're not worthy. Have you feeling like you're not going to get it because you didn't get it the next day. Then you start doubting, and doubt become your enemy. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't receive that. You know, patience is something. I, I done been through some of that. I learned by studying the word that no, it's like God said it is, it's not at all. Because he said, I'm God and I change is not. So all I want to do is get closer to God and in my soul. You, I don't care how I dress, that don't make me look like God. I don't care how I get and how much of my hair I lose, that don't make me look like God. My spirit will always look like God. I'm always growing in my spirit and my soul. That's what make me blessed. I can... You don't have to have money to look like God. You don't have to be dressed up. We all could have came in tonight with some nightgowns on and pajamas and it wouldn't make no difference if we saved. <laughs> We've just been looking at each other. <laughs> but if we can stay saved like that, We say, because God is not looking at the eye of the pill. He's looking at the heart, and I just brought that in to use that illustration. I just use that as an illustration, because if we all came in here with pajamas and a gun, and we see it could stay saved, it wouldn't move God, because he's not looking at what we have on. We might be looking. We might be looking. So that's why we can't judge. Amen. Judge not that you will not be judged. Because if you see something wrong with somebody else, then somebody sees something wrong with you. All right, okay. Let's, let's, let's read, let's read. By faith, faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice okay. than Cain. Sacrifice. We got to offer something to God, too. Let me tell you something. If you got faith and you love God, you got to offer something to God. You have to do it. Because we reap what we sow. And God is able to do for us much more than we can do for him. So, I am waiting for God to approve some things for me. 
So what I have to do if I got to change something, if I'm, if I'm, some, if I'm not where I need to be, my application? He read my application. That angel is the secretary. After a while, he'll tell the secretary, okay, he done had enough patience now. Bless him. <laughs> That's what he did for Abraham. He approved for Abraham and Sarah to have a baby when they were much too old. When he was 100 and, and Sarah was 99, he approved. Only God could approve that. The doctor couldn't do it. He approved for Mary to have a baby without a man. So can he approve a miracle for you? Somebody like, what is he talking about? Read the Bible and you'll know. <laughs> but my God is a good God. And you be waiting. You say, well, Lord, when are you going to prove my blessing? You know what it said in Hebrew, the sixth chapter, I believe it was. Told Abraham, after you have, after you have done what? After you have done, now you done done the will of God, you done prayed, you done fast, you done done all of these things. Then you have need of patience. While you waiting with patience, God is approving. <laughs> you don't believe that, do you? God is approving how you acted. So every once in a while you think about something you've done, you got to repent. You got to repent. You got to repent. You have them fast. You have them, if you need to fast, you have them pray. You got slack. The last time God blessed you, you didn't do right. You didn't have anything. He saved you, and that's enough to make you run. Run. So, now hope don't do anything. Now you can sit here and say, oh, I hope. I hope. God can't even bless you through hope. Because that's not what the Bible said. He said, according to your faith, be it unto thee. The blind man said, what you want from me? That's what the blind man said. God, what do you want? I want to see. Two blind men, I want to see. He said, can you believe? Can you believe? Yes, Lord, I can believe. Well, he said, according to your faith. And then, what is that? Well, when he said, according to your faith, they didn't need much faith, because the Bible said, then a, a, a faith is a grain of mustard seed. But let me tell you what a, a, a mustard seed do when it grow up. It's small, but it's fruitful. It's small, but it's fruitful. 